Elder Madra here, we're back, it's E4. We have some separate sentiment and we're just gonna ignore it while we continue to beat up the uh, these guys, which is great. Uh, a revolt, that's fine. The treasure fleet, literally have no need of this. And there we go, a hard fought battle and one that was victorious. We're gonna keep these guys, we'll keep the mercenaries here. And send them to go siege stuff. While we take these guys and go kill the rebel stack that's here. Bro, can you stop legitimate questioning my legitimacy? That's not cool. Oh my god, why did I click that? I literally keep telling myself, don't do this, and I do it immediately. Advance with the clergy, gain a province. We done? We under? Not yet. Uh, Defender of the Faith. Oh, what? We've lost Expand Empire. Ming, losing control of... Oh, yes. Control of the South. Appoint autonomous governors. Yi and Wu have broken away. Oh, the good stuff. A little bit more Separatists and some more Conquest goals. Very nice, very nice indeed. Bye, Ming. Bye bye. What? Defender of the. F what? I'm Defender of the Faith. How dare you? Because they have more prestige than me. Gets to spend all the. I did do that. I did spend all the prestige. That's true. That's very true. Okay, we need to find a. Go away. That's why I click. I get annoyed. Where are my transport fleets? Let's take a look at that. My well, big boy's in the Karamati Strait with 83, which is a bit crazy. I've got 37 here, which I need to attack Kilwar later. Right, I don't have any, so let's build some, because we need some more transport fleets together. Alright, let's go. My lads. Let's get a nice 30 strong transport fleet. 40 strong. 50 strong, 60 strong, perfect. Not like I really need the money. Mamluks are being taken care of, which is great. Oh, look at that, Tonight's actually invaded Australia. You know, deal. Good. And now off we go. Got some shippy boys doing mean things to my face, but that's all right. We'll continue to siege down Bengal. Probably Uz... Uh, not Uzbek. I'll do Uzbek. Who else? Um, I mean, Afghanistan. Uh, nope, nope. Can't do them either. One pore. Too many truces. It's it's just too many truces, man. Not cool. Separatist sentiment. Oh my god. Again. Why do I keep clicking it? Someone hit me with a very large stick, please, and stop me. That's all I ask of you, is to hit me with a very large stick, and no one will do it. This one army has just been fighting rebels for, like, decades now. I'm glad I managed to basically kill the Ming almost completely. Hey, Combat Pillow, what is up? That is an absolutely wonderful little emote. Where did you get that? Twitch Global emote. Ah, oh, someone died. My wife died. That's no good. That's no good at all. I love that bop. I've never seen that emote. That is fantastic. I love it. Oh, actually, my sub goal is wrong. I just realized. Yep. Hooray! Yeah, it goes down. People that resub or don't sub as they prefer. Please, course. The extension goes away, please. Causing me problems. I don't really like it. Yeah. Okay. This looks good. I'm I'm happy with this. I think I think we're in like a really good situation at the moment. It's just there's a ton of wars and I my game is like slowing to a crawl as well, which is really interesting. Okay, these guys are done with their little fight. I am completely out of manpower now. And those are specifically Ming separatists. It's not ideal. Definitely don't want them involved. I might uh, just slacken and gain 75k immediately. Go do that. And go pick these chaps up.
Data gone has been relieved. Nice. Please stop being separatists. I don't like you. You're bullying me. What you're doing? You're bullying me. Bloody Protestants. They're everywhere. Okay. Can't now do the Mamluks, obviously, until uh, we can for the rest of uh, China. We have some Australian particularists. Austrian particularists in South Africa. You bloody what? What what what, what particularly are you particularizing against, eh? That's what I want to know. Shanghai is another one we need to consider, as to does Mali. Uh, might go do that now. How many troops does Mali have? <laughs> They've only got 42k. Oh, they're a nothing. They are a nothing. You. Okay. Doopy doopy doo. Next. Oh, a bad defeat in Mindapur there. That's a really bad one. What are the particularists meant to present? You know, I've never really understood. Like, what are particularists? You Google it and you get EU4. Moral particularism is a theory in metaethics that there are no moral principles, and the moral judgment is determined by relevant factors in particular contexts. Okay. This stands in stark contrast to deontology or consequentialism and virtue ethics. I'm a bit confused as to how that happens in the political spectrum. What, what are they? I'm googling it. My game tanked a bit when basically tired of Europe from winning HRE put me through three coalition wars to be his Roman Empire. Ah, oh, damn, that sucks, bro. What? What are they? Uh, are they just... Are they just rebels? Is that just the late term, late game rebels? They are wrong culture but don't have a country to defect to. That's what happens. Yeah. So I think they're just kind of general rebels, which is kind of odd, honestly. More? Come on, go away. All right, let these guys kind of uh, get together. Oh man, their country is still so totally boned. I love it. Good. I'm liking this so far. Kuni TV with the raiding party. Oh, well, that's kind of you to get that little raid, my friend. Thank you so much. Absolutism removes many cores, and the result might be particularists. Interesting, interesting. Let's get to know a combat pillar. Thank you. How exactly does one use a combat pillar? Is it a kind of a situational kind of thing? You know, you just keep it. It's like a towel in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, or... I'm just, I'm just trying to understand if I'm if I'm neglecting my combat pillow duties, you know. Scottish Jinx Raid. Raid. Thanks, buddy. Smother the enemy with it. That's true. All right. I'm just too busy looking at these guys. I need to actually do something here. I'm fighting three wars, two of which I'm doing nothing about. Thanks for the follow, Scottish Dream. I do appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. You tried? Yeah, man. You did well. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, let's give everything here to my good pal, Lithuania. Which means I get to click a lot. But Lithuania is the easiest one to give to because they are right there. Oh yeah, I love it. We're just going to give this entire country to Lithuania. Obviously this makes it a gigantic country. But it's really easy to keep everyone appeased by placating their dynasties. Uh, and you just get more prestige from winning battles. So it's no big deal. I should probably give Kazan to Novgorod. Which if I remember rightly is about halfway down. Fill the with, with bristles and feed a man with it. Now you're talking. Yeah, it's about halfway down. Where is it? There it is. It son of a biscuit. Okay, so if I separate piece them, it's going to cost me dip. Oh, it's not going to cost me diplo. 
That's because the war is on his end. I appear to be blind. Okay. Who else are we fighting? Um, we have Shagati, Luristan, and Ternate. Alright, well, I would love to give this to... My chums here in a, in a queue. But I bet you that does cost me to separate piece them, right? What? Can't make it to a core? Ah, oh, the Caspian Sea doesn't count. Oh my god, I hate you so much. Uh, I did Luristan it though, so that's pretty good. I think we will separate piece these guys. I think that makes the most sense. EQ. Ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Okay. I can't slow this too much. It might compromise ongoing missions. Smothering is not excluded. I appreciate the tantalizing little, little hint. It's very kind of you. Thank you. Writing it down. I'm gonna sell these secrets straight to this to the to the other people. Punish how to say. A nice beard and a sexy brain. Jesus damn, that is that's a nice description. I like that. Hey, what's up? What is up, Cootie? Thank you very much for that raid. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so let me just remind myself, if I try and separate piece of stand, that does cost me Diplo. Yes, it does. Not much, but I'd really rather not, because I'm gonna try and do some annexes, I think. Um so all the clicks of the price you pay. Avenger, you don't even understand. It, it's it's arduous torture. It really is. Right, so straight away, that is already so much war score. 81. Please. Alright, that's something. So we're just gonna have to stay in this war for a real long time. And I'm guessing if I give this to, uh, freaking Novgorod, the game will freak out and slap me with a fish or something, right? Yeah. I mean, that is only, like, one Diplo power, so. It's, like, one Diplo power. That doesn't matter. Come on. That's such a cheap cost. Let's just do this so we can get rid of some of the war score, you know? It's about making it a bit easier to conquer these guys later. If only Paradox could bring back the full NX button. Yes, but also, I would, I would, I would actually don't even mind the full NX button. I really just care about the ability to be able to transfer uh, occupations quickly and easily. Because at present, there is not that ability, and that is, frankly, torturous. And makes me want to chop my own head off. So, yeah. That's what I say. Okay. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, good. How much can I take from Chag T without it being a problem? Right, that's like no Diplo. I'm happy to spend that. So I'm just going to let them keep going there. Let them kind of full siege him down. One more month tick and then I'll kill these rebels. Their Ming is getting absolutely destroyed. I love it. This is nice. Uh, but I do need to think about the next war. Obviously, that's not for another six years. 13 colonies. Oh my god, everyone's breaking away, aren't they? We'll go over there. Good. Okay. Oh, what's this? Do we not own this? Oh, New Providence. Oh, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> sure they can take care of that. Good. Have we fought Chile? We have. We fought, ev we fought everybody. Everybody. All right, let's go for Mali next. They will call in Morocco and Kilwa and Brunei. Okay, so we'll wait for Kilwa to be done in 26. And then we'll call we'll Kilwa and we'll call in... we we'll go Mali and call in Kilwa. That's what we'll do. Let's see, just set a gone. Oh my god, they immediately desieged me. And I completely forgot the fact that I got wrecked. Uh, it looks like this Merc army is completely now dead. Let's go for another. Can I please have something that's not terrible? That's not great. 
I'm looking for a decent balance here, you know? That's actually a little bit worse. There was one here that wasn't terrible. It had like 12? God, this mercenary stuff, dude. Ah, just independence. Fine. Use him to start fighting in there. Okay, go get him. Oh yeah, Ming is just destroyed. They are winning against Shun, but that's okay. Right. These guys up and over. Let's go on Ma No, don't go on Mali, Eldra. Sit quietly. Being a turd. Wait for the Mamelukians to be dead. Which is real soon, I think. What is your worst leader your respective countries have had? To your mind, what is the worst leader your respective countries have had, historically speaking? Are you referring to the United Kingdom, as in my country I live in? The worst leader. That's a real tricky one, because obviously I'm assuming you're... Well, this is the problem. You start to go... You, you got the delineation of powers. You go monarchs, and then you go prime ministers in my country, right? Because monarchs stopped being useful about two centuries ago. Or stopped being effective in terms of the governments of the country since the, since uh, Prince Regent, I'd say, uh, in the Napoleonic times. Rightful ownership, that is mine, mate. You can bite me. Yeah, this is in both sub... Um, okay, so... Yeah, I know. How are the people still alive in Congo? I've killed hundreds of thousands of people in rebellions. I'm trying to decide who would be the worst leader for PM UK. I think that's really tricky because, you know, good and bad have had a number of things. I think in terms of pure suffering and economic damage, David Cameron is probably going to be remembered as the worst simply because of sheer economic factors of precipitating the beginning of Brexit. And I just think that's going to probably have the longest term problem. I mean, the problem is you talk about worst in terms of leaders. You really need to think about, are you talking about economic damage? Are you talking about harmed the most people? Are you talking about made the worst decisions? Uh, you know, there's so many different factors here. What are you doing? Why is the Ayatura helping out Ming? Allied to me. Get it together. Just I'm ending the episode. Just to punish you, Ayatora. Thank you for, for watching, them, guys. To be soon in the blah, 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 next video. And I'll see you next time. I was Eldrillon. Continue to be. See you next time. Bye bye.